Look at this metallic fabric I got. Tell me she wouldn't be perfect for a bathing suit. Let's go. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Kiana and I do a lot of sewing and fashion videos. And today we are doing a sewing and fashion video. I just got a new dress form. If you didn't see the YouTube short, yes girl, look at this dress form by Royal Dress Forms. She's beautiful. Her measurements are so close to mine, except for her booty. She's got a little bit of a flat butt. Not that mine's not flat, but hers is more flat. She's about an inch, inch and a half smaller, but it's definitely the butt, not the hips, because she's got some hips. She's slaying. Waist measurements, about the same. Bust measurement, about the same. So she is a better fit for me. She's also fully pinnable. Anyways, I'm on a tangent right here. This is not a video about my dress form. I'm just really excited to try her out and do my first draping project, which is, I wanna make a bathing suit. I got this metallic fabric from Joann's. Um, if you saw my little shopping spree short video, you will recognize this. And I wanna make a bathing suit. Here's my vision my sketch. I love those like tall triangle bikinis, the ones that aren't just like regular triangles, they keep going to like a halter. I love those, but I don't like when they like scrunch around this band right here and you can like move them on the band. I feel like they end up scrunching close together. And on me, on someone who doesn't have a lot of bust, it doesn't like squeeze your bust down and it makes your bust look smaller. So I don't want, do you understand what I'm saying when it like scrunches? Hold on, let me get a bathing suit. <laughs> this is what I'm talking about. I don't like this little scrunchy that you can move because I feel like it doesn't support the bust enough when you have no bust. Do you know what I'm saying? Like it doesn't squeeze it and give you any cleavage. So I like bathing suits more that have a flat band and you can tie it tight around your body because I feel like it squeezes you more. So that's what I wanna do. However, I wanna take it a step further and do a tie in the back and a tie in the front too. So you can kind of adjust that level as needed. You know, I'm gonna pull it tight, you know, so we look a little, more snatched, that's my vision. So, and I wanna do really strappy, I love the straps that go in the front, and then just some cute high cut, but not high waisted bikini bottoms. So I'm gonna show you guys how I pattern it and everything so you can just copy, do what you want. If you want a pattern, let me know. I'm not planning on making a pattern right now. I am gonna show you how to fully do it, but like, you know, sometimes it's easier just to buy a quick, cheap pattern because this would not be a very expensive pattern at all. So let me know, we can go for it. So I'm just gonna start draping. Hold on, where's my fabric? I have this leftover prototype fabric from my one day 24 hour dress. So I'm just gonna use this fabric. We don't need the prototype anymore. We can just use this as my draping material. Okay. But before we go any further, I do wanna thank Native for sponsoring today's video. I'm going to bring you all to the pool a little bit later on because we obviously have to see the suit in action. So of course I'm going to bring along my Native deodorant so I can keep myself feeling fresh at the pool. And I'm super excited because Native deodorant has the best smelling scents ever. If you follow me on Instagram, you know I have an addiction to candles. <laughs> I have an addiction to candles. I just love scents. I love smelling things and deodorant is no different. So let me show you all the yummy scents I got. First off, we have lilac and white tea, which smells like springtime. It's very florally, very girly. Next is vanilla and sandalwood, which I'm wearing today. This one smells so good. This is my favorite. It's very woody, but sweet at the same time. And then lastly, I have coconut and vanilla. This one is also from their sensitive line, which means it's baking soda free, but all of native deodorant is aluminum free, paraben free, vegan, and cruelty free. How fabulous is that? And they're made with simple and effective ingredients like coconut oil and shea butter. I also got a body wash from their limited edition candy shop collection. The scent is sour berry belt, which smells exactly like blue raspberry candy. Oh my goodness, this smells so good. I've been using her every day. So if you want aluminum-free, paraben-free, and vegan deodorant that smells amazing and protects odor all day with 72-hour protection, you can use my link and code BONOLO to get 20% off your first purchase at Native. This offer is available site-wide, but only for a limited time, so make sure you stock up and save. So thank you again to Native for sponsoring today's video. Now, back to sewing. All right, so I'm just placing all of my draping tape on the form, and if you're new here, then you don't know that I love using washi tape as my draping tape. It's cheaper and it's less sticky. So yeah, I'm just marking out all of my style lines. Wow, look at that. She's slaying. She's gonna be cheeky. Ooh, 
Oh. I just wanna announce that I'm not a swimwear person. I've made one swimsuit before, years ago. Just an FYI, okay? I'm also not gonna be very exact with this. You know how I'm usually like, block your fabric, mark your fabric, blah, 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 do all this stuff before you're draping? Yeah, this is just a swimsuit and I, like right now I'm not planning on patterning it. If I do plan on patterning it, I will go back and like make this pattern slay. But this is just for myself. And when I just do crap for myself, I'm like, you know, so we'll see if she slays. If she doesn't slay, life goes on. That's how the world works. I also never pattern like this. I always pattern one block at a time, but I've seen people do, cause that's how I learned in college, but I've seen people do like one sheet and then just start pinching where the darts are. So I don't know. Okay, but one thing about bathing suits is you stretch them a lot. So while this looks cute, just like laying there, I'm gonna end up stretching my bathing suit. So it's gonna need to be stretched here, you know? So let me start stretching her. I'm not gonna put pins all the way up here because when you're wearing the bathing suit, it's only points of like tension is here, here, and here. So I'm trying to make it lay nice without having to pin it open because you're not going to be pinning it open on your body. There we go. That's pretty nicely without all the pins. Perfect. All right, let me mark it with a marker. Okay, I just made some changes right here. I felt like it cut out too much. I wanted to it to cut in more. I felt like it was not showing off enough of the side boob, so we needed some more. Time for the bottoms. Okay, that was a lot easier than expected, so slay. Okay, hello, I am back for the voiceover. So after I draped the bottom, I just transferred those into patterns. So you can either trace them on regular paper, trace them digitally. I like doing things digitally. And then I printed out the pattern. I've already added seam allowance around everything. So I did half inch seam allowance and then I taped it together, cut it out. I think I'm watching, I'm not sure if I'm watching Blue Exorcist or Tokyo Ghoul right now, but I'm very distracted. And then I kind of started freaking out because why does this look so huge? It's like double the size of my head. There's no way my crotch is like, what? I don't know. I started panicking, but I said, we're going to persevere. Let's just cut out the fabric because I trust in the draping skills. So that's what we did. I just cut out my shell fabric. So that pretty metallic fabric. And then I'm just going to place everything right sides together at wherever the seams I'm gonna sew are and pin them in place. And then I'm actually just going to bring that over to my serger. Yeah, you could sew it with a zigzag stitch or whatever stretch stitch you want on your sewing machine, but I'm just gonna serge it, easy peasy. Then I'm gonna go in with the lining fabric. And this is another prototype of a project that I saved back from four years ago from from college, I made a prototype and I saved it because I don't like throwing away my prototypes because I'm like, I can use this at some point. All right, we're gonna put this on the dress form first before we cut the lining to see if she's good or not. I'm also gonna try on my body, obviously, but when it's all disconnected like this, I really don't wanna show that to you guys. So I did actually already put this on myself and it looks pretty good. But it's hard to tell the top without it being like with the straps, but this, it looked good. I was worried because it looks huge, but it's just like really high cut, almost high waisted, not super high waisted, but definitely high waisted. Oh my God, how do you put this on? Ah! Oh, let's just put her upside down. Get on there, go. Okay. All right, here's what this looks like. She's a little loose, but I kind of like her on the looser side. And then we tighten her up with some elastic bands at the waist and the, the legs, you know? And this, don't don't worry about this because we're gonna take away some of the seam allowance from that. Plus this girl has like a really <laughs> small crotch area. And you don't want your thing to be too small for your crotch, so. Check her out, bikini ready. Woo, catch her at the beach. Look at her go. Ooh, ooh, ooh. 
Now I'm just placing the lining to the shell right sides together and pinning along the neckline. And then I'm going to sew that with a small zigzag stitch. I'm gonna use the zigzag stitch that's really thin. It kind of looks like a straight stitch, but stretches. And then I'm going to go to my bottoms, place the lining in the shell wrong sides together and just surge those together around all the edges. So the waistline and the leg holes so that everything becomes like one piece. Okay, so I'm finishing off the top right now, the finishing. So the neckline, I just did a little zigzag stitch on, folded it wrong sides together, right sides out. Then I just did a little zigzag to kind of like top stitch it. It's basically like top stitching, but for stretchy fabric. And we can't do a top stitch because then the thread would break when you start stretching it. So that's why I did a little zigzag. Yeah, so I'm just gonna do it to the other one. And then I'll probably do the elastic in the bottoms and then the binding slash straps for the top. Yeah, so I'll show you how I did this. Make sure you use a zigzag stitch. Um, oh, and pro tip, if you feel like when you're sewing with your zigzag stitch, the fabric is like stretching permanently too much, your presser foot tension is probably too high and it's causing the fabric to stretch as it's sewing. So I put my presser foot tension really low. It's at like two and a half right now. Normally it's on five, if that helps. All right, just doing what I said, I am just top stitching that down with a zigzag stitch so that it still stretches. And I'm just kind of finger pressing as I go. Then when I'm going to the bottoms, I have a thin elastic. It's like a quarter inch elastic. And I'm just placing that on the wrong side of the bikini. So at the lining at the very edge. And I'm surging that onto it. And I'm stretching the elastic as I go very, 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 very slightly. And I'm not cutting off any of the elastic either. Hello, okay, so I'm partially done with the bottoms. So as you can see here, I've sewn a little elastic um, into the inside of the pants or the, the bottoms, the underwear, I don't know. Basically just surged it and I didn't cut any of the elastic on and while I was surging it, I stretched it so that it would sit really tight against me and not whoop, go open and show anything while I'm wearing it. And then right here, I just folded that under one time i folded it to the wrong side under and then i top stitched it down with a zigzag stitch very cute and it's all like crinkled up right now but when you wear it on your body it's going to stretch out and be smooth like that very exciting very exciting Here's the plan to finish this bikini. Also, does the head look creepy to you guys? It's kind of spooky. I kind of like her. Anyways, let me show you what I did. So you saw me finish this neckline with the zigzag stitch. Now, to create the straps and finish the other edges, I'm doing like a little homemade bias tape situation. So, so it looks like on the front. This is what it looks like on the back, very cute. Here are the little bias tape strips. So it's just like normal bias tape. So it's about, it's almost a two inch cut width and then it's folded into quarters like so. Ta-da. And I'm using that to finish everything. So I'm gonna finish here and I'm also gonna finish right here and it's a little two-in-one action we're finishing the edges but also adding the straps at the same time um so yeah i will just show you guys how i do that on the machine now all right so i'm just unfolding that bias tape and sewing in that first little indent with a lightning bolt stitch which is what i was describing earlier it's like a really thin zigzag stitch and it kind of looks like a straight stitch but it stretches it's called a lightning bolt stitch so i'm just sewing that right sides together there it is you can see it and it still stretches so that slays and then i'm gonna fold that bias tape binding back in on itself and just top stitch that down with a zigzag stitch and when i reach the end of the bodice of the triangle i'm just going to keep that bias tape completely closed and continue top stitching and that is just going to you know keep the strap closed and make it look nice hello everyone we did the two pieces but now we need to do the strap on the bottom and i have this giant strap look how long she is oh my god she's enormous um because it's gonna be sewn right here and then it's gonna crisscross to the back then it's gonna crisscross to the front and then it's gonna go tie in the back. So she needs to be super long. Um, and I don't know 
exactly where I want to place her here. I'm going to place her kind of close right here because you have to imagine that you're going to be pulling these tight. So this is going to stretch, you know? So I don't want to place her too far apart like this because that's how I how far apart I want her to end up, you know? And then when I stretch it, it's going to get too far. Like your boob's going to pop out of that. So we need to put her close like this and sew it. Okay, let's do it. All right, the bikini is finally done. Look at her. Also, she looks so good. I have not tried it on yet. I'm so excited. I put her on the form first so we can look at her. Um, she's looking so good. I will say, I try, actually, I just lied to you. I said I haven't put it on. I put on the bikini bottoms. I have not put on the top yet, but I put on the bottoms and I will say she was giving Speedo. The crotch was a little bit too wide. Like it looked a little diapery. It looked a little bit like I was a man wearing a Speedo, but we made the crotch a little bit smaller. I was like concerned because I made the crotch bigger Anyways, cause usually, you know, when you have high, high cut bikinis, like the crotch is so small and you're like, uh oh, like something's gonna pop out. So I decided to make it bigger and that was just not the vibe. It looked crazy. So we made her smaller, not too small. Like she still has some good coverage. So I'll shut up now. Let's go try her on. All right, everyone, so that is the video. Hope you enjoyed watching me make a little saucy bikini. I feel like it turned out really well. What do you think? Because I think I got slayed it for not being a swimwear girly for kind of winging that. Yeah, so right now, no, I do not have plans of making a pattern um, because like, yeah, I just kind of made that. But yeah, um, if you want a pattern, let me know. Undecided right now. Now it would be good for the for the warm weather for the summertime because it is very a very cute bikini that kind of works for everyone and she's pretty easy. I kind of want to make it a hot pink. <gasps> that would be so fun. Okay, calm down. Anyways, yeah, let me know what you want to see from me next. Let me know if you want to see more of this bathing suit content. And I think that is everything. So if you like this video, give me a thumbs up because it's the easiest way to support your favorite creators for free. Also feel free to follow me on Instagram and TikTok. My handle is Kiana Bonolo. Subscribe, turn on that notification bell, especially if you don't wanna miss out on discounts for patterns. But yeah, I think that is everything. So thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.